So during pregnancy, uh, back pain is extremely common. At least 50% of women with, who are pregnant do experience back pain. After delivery, there's also a certain percentage that will continue to have back pain. And sometimes even disabling, so where it interferes with them, their ability to take care of their, their children. And so um, rehabilitation and helping these women with back pain is extremely important, not just to get rid of their pain, but also to, to allow them to improve their quality of life and participate in activities that are required after being a new mom. With your abdominal muscle group, you actually have four muscles in your abdominal muscle group. And so what we've seen from previous research is that um, people without back pain are able to activate these muscles in a different sequence than people with back pain. So we want, by using the ultrasound imaging, we can actually see whether or not they're contracting their muscles correctly. We can also see uh, the quality of the muscle contraction and um, the ability for it to thicken. When a muscle contracts, it actually thickens. With the use of ultrasound imaging, specifically rehabilitation ultrasound imaging, that's what we refer to it in the uh, physical therapy world, we are not actually um, doing anything to the patient. So we're not actually using electrical stimulation or anything to the patient. It's completely safe. We're just converting the sound waves into an image. So we can look at the quality of the muscle, we can look at um, a still picture, as well as a dynamic movement of the muscle during a contraction, which is extremely valuable uh, when we're working with patients. Okay, prior to us um, using the ultrasound imaging technology, we actually would palpate um, during exercise, so we would actually palpate muscles and just see if they're working or not working, or we would use what's called surface EMG, um, where we could actually measure the electrical muscle activity. Um, it was, it's not as accurate, and our palpation skills are not nearly as accurate as using the ultrasound imaging. So we were really relying on uh, our skills and, um, and then the ability for the patient to actually feel what we were trying to tell them to do.